heard the boom and everything, and I just jump out of my bed, run upstairs, look over, and I see this flames. Developing news, an explosion levels a home in far northwest Marengo and damages several other nearby homes. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mai Martinez. And I'm Jim Williams and all about 50 homes are affected by the blast. The homeowners were out of town on vacation. CBS 2's Chelsea Irving spent the afternoon talking to neighbors. We need a general alarm for a house that just exploded. It was 5 a.m. when people in Marengo were awakened by an enormous blast. Uh, it sounded like a bus coming through my house. Uh, I was screaming, panicking, didn't know what to do. Neighbors in the 600 block of 4th Avenue ran outside to find two homes engulfed in flames. Luckily, the family in the first house was away on vacation. Neighbors rescued the family trapped in the other. I believe we've got everybody out of our house. As firefighters doused hot spots for hours, investigators tallied the damage. Two houses burned to the ground, 18 others uninhabitable. In total, 50 homes damaged. Just to give you an idea about the force of this blast, I am seven houses away in a master bedroom where this entire window and its frame has been blown out by the explosion. Fire investigators looking for a cause, thinking the most obvious. What on earth could cause this much damage? Besides a gas explosion, I really, I don't know. The only thing I've ever seen like this is when uh, like tornadoes have been close. Like most people on this block, John Etner is looking at months of repairs. Knowing this is a long road ahead, basically. But grateful everyone is okay. So you must certainly agree it's lucky no one was seriously hurt. It's very lucky. It's very lucky. It's incredible, actually. Two of those people rescued from their burning home were taken to a nearby hospital, but they were later released with minor injuries. Again, the family that was at the source of the suspected gas explosion was away on vacation. In total, about 25 homes will not have electricity, at least for tonight. Meanwhile, the Red Cross is helping displaced families find somewhere to stay and offering meals to anyone in need. Maya local church and a restaurant are also providing meals throughout the week. Everyone we talk to in the end says the entire community of Marengo is pulling together to help the dozens of families impacted. My back to you. you Chelsea.